welcome to another video. We are the 5th of July, I think. Yeah. Time goes by really fast. I am now just under eight weeks out, seven and a half weeks out. I hit a new low this morning, 57.8. When I saw 57 on the scale this morning, I was like, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? I was just so like, you know, I was not expecting that. I uh, took my check-in. Very happy with my check-in pictures today. Um, really seeing the tie-ins come through, but more. I'm feeling very flat. As you guys know, I have not trained hard in the past four days. I've got a couple days left of this deload and I cannot wait to train hard again come Friday. So yeah, that's kind of like the update. I basically lost 1.3 kilos since last week's check-in on Tuesday. So I sent Dylan my check-in. He's actually in the same-ish time zone as me because he's traveling Europe. I think he's in Amsterdam today, flying to Portugal. I'm really happy with where I'm at. Like I finally feel like I'm kind of on track of like where I need to be. I hope he doesn't make me do incline treadmill again. I don't mind, like I'll do it. But flat treadmill's been nice because again, I feel less inflamed. I'm still burning the calories I need to be burning. It's just flat treadmill, not inclined. So I asked him like, are we going back to incline? Should we keep it flat? Food wise, I've been fine. Hitting my macros to the T every day. No hunger, no cravings, which is nice. And then this morning I just had my coffee while I did some work on my computer. I uh, did my cardio. I called my mom when I did my cardio. Guys, always call your mom during cardio. It's the best thing ever because it just goes by so fast and call your mom. It's important. I slack. Mom, I know you're watching this. Sorry I slack on calling you, but call your mom. This is If you're watching this and you haven't spoken to your mom in the past couple days, go call her. So we had a chat and then I came back and I did some posing with Nay. So she was in the States competing for like a month so i felt a bit rusty posing her today that i've been practicing a lot but we made a lot of progress uh we fixed up kind of like the second part of my routine which is like from the back pose to the front and then also she helped me out with my walk my walk is such a mess i'm gonna be practicing that shit every single fucking day my walk is so bad my calves really hurt now because i was in those heels for like an hour and a half just posing with her and then i practiced more myself Maybe I'm a lot leaner now, so it looks weird if I pop up too much. That could be it. <laughs> okay. I even changes so much. Yeah. Into the exactly. And like that's why it's good to start early to learn. Yeah. And then as you progress throughout prep, it's about changing the super body. my usual oats and bagel thing with Nutella. I did not bank carbs today. You know why? Because if Dylan actually reduces my carbs today after I lost three pounds in one week, something's up. Because the past few weeks when I've not lost much weight, he'd bring my macros down. So I've lost a lot of weight this week, so he shouldn't be changing anything, right? I don't know. I think he's just gonna bring my cardio back up to incline walking. That's my prediction, so stay tuned guys to see if my prediction is right or wrong. So I planned my macros today as they have been, 160 carb, 160 protein, 35 fat. Yeah, that's the update, guys. 
And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go do my uh, second deload leg session today. So probably not gonna film it because it's useless. Um, And then I obviously will keep you guys posted. I have no idea where this vlog is going, but hey, you guys have been giving me amazing feedback on my videos recently, which like, thank you, means the world. Honestly, I feel like we have like a really special thing going on here. You know, YouTube fam, I love you guys. So I am gonna just get ready now, head to the gym and I will catch you guys there. friends it is the next day it is wednesday i did not vlog anything yesterday because let's just say things did not go as planned i was on my way to the gym to do deload legs and on the way there something happened with work that really pissed me off um i should not have let it piss me off as much as i let it piss me off but it pissed me off long story short it frustrated me and pissed me off so much that when i was on the tube on my way to muscle works I just like burst out crying like I was legit like on the overground just like bawling my eyes out for like legit no reason I was like why am I crying over this like it's just it I'm not like complaining I'm just stating a fact that I think prep is amplifying my emotions in general I'm a very rational person it's like part of my masculine energy I don't usually get very emotional ever it's very, very sporadic. It's either hormonal or I think now it's like kind of diet brain is getting to me really bad. Like really bad. So that happened yesterday. I got to the gym. I was like, oh, I wish I was in. I wish I was doing like a normal leg workout. I wish like it wasn't a deload so I could actually like push and stuff because I was really angry. But whatever. I did the deload workout. It went really well. And then I got back and I just got in my own head a lot. I'm not going to lie. I was like not lean enough, not ready, I was like doubting myself, doubting the whole like process, overthinking it, I spoke to a few people who my friends who were like, girl, chill, your diet brain's just crazy, and I was like, you're right, I feel a bit better today, um, so yeah, that's just the update, and that's why I filmed nothing, I'm going to, I promise, I'm going to try and film upper today, today's my last deload workout, finally, and it's upper body, so I'm going to head to Muscle Works now um, to do that, in terms of how things are going, food-wise, Dylan got back to me. He's like flying around Europe because there's a pro show in Portugal and Liana, one of his pros, is doing that show. So he's in Portugal. So we're in the same time zone, but he got back to me at like 10 p.m. last night. And I was already asleep, guys. I sleep at 9 p.m. So I was already asleep, but I basically didn't have to change anything because he didn't change much. So he kept my macros the same, um, like my usual 160 protein, 160 carb, 35 fat. Uh, he gave me a refeed though, which I'm not too happy about. I don't really want a refeed, but I'm gonna do it on Friday. I'm hitting 145 protein, 260 carb, 30 fat. It's a really high carb, really low fat on Friday. Um, got my first like proper session back on Friday and it's legs, so I am excited for that. In terms of everything else, oh, cardio. He said to inc uh, to do three times flat treadmill and three times incline because I've got six cardios total. So I'm going to be doing flat treadmill on my leg days and then incline on my upper body slash rest days. So that's basically like the changes. I asked him about the Vietnam show. He said, let's do it. He said, if you've got no other option, just do it. And I was like, fuck it. So yeah, probably going to be going to Vietnam on October 1st for a shot at that pro card. Um, my lower back is fucked from the posing yesterday and I need to go to muscle work because I'm procrastinating. I really need to go. I've just been literally glued to my computer. I've done like almost 40 check-ins already and it's like not even 12 p.m. yet. So I've been at it and I've done like 7,000 steps and my cardio and stuff. I'm a morning person, you guys can tell. I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, thank you guys for listening to my rants. I'm going to go to the gym and I'll see you guys later.
a few hours later. I am so happy that my deload is over because I really can't fucking wait to train hard. I don't know if you guys can tell in those clips that Suzanne filmed of me, but like I looked so bored and just pissed off my entire workout because I was like, I'm literally just going through the motions. I uh, got a good pump though, it was a good session, had a good time with Suzanne. Um, I, yeah, I this has just been sat on my ass doing work this past few hours. Um, and I prepped a bunch of food for this weekend. I'm going away tomorrow, coming back on Sunday. So obviously prepping everything. I'm doing my refeed on Friday. So I prepped a bunch of extra food for that. I'm actually not going to do a full day of eating on this vlog. I'm going to post it to Instagram because the foods are pretty much the same. It's just I'm having like more. <laughs> uh, but potatoes have entered the chat. I reintroduced potatoes just on Friday for the one refi day. Um, but that's basically it. So I just like cooked all those meals using my Ziploc bag hack just to kind of um, free up some more space and stuff in my bag. So yeah. Um, I'm not too sure where this vlog is going to go. I might end it now, I might end it tomorrow. I'll film an outro either way. But I'm feeling good. I am very up and down. One thing I've noticed is with prep, physically I'm fine. Like, for now. I mean, who knows when I start my next mezzo, I might realize, fuck, I'm weak as shit. But it's more like my cognition has been affected, I think. My ability to be productive has slightly diminished, I think. Um, I'm a lot more, I, I have more difficulty controlling my emotions, which is not like me because I'm very usually good at doing that. And um, I'm getting angry very quickly. Like today at the gym, I told the guy to fuck off. To be fair, he was being a bit rude. Well, not rude, inappropriate. Um, I was just, I couldn't take it. I was like, hey, fuck off. And he was like, and then I left. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now and I will catch you guys in the next clip, whenever the fuck that's gonna be. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday and I'm about to edit the video you guys just watched and I realized I forgot to film an outro, so I figured I would just film it on my phone. On my way back to London, um, so I was away this weekend and I'm just on the train back. I just got a Starbucks. This is a decaf Americano. I added my own almond milk and added some stevia and I wanted to just kind of chat about that refeed. So I'm going to post the full day of eating to my Instagram for the refeed so you guys can go check that out over there. But it felt really good like this was the first refeed i've had this prep where i was like i actually do want to have this refeed like, i actually felt hunger like not hunger but it was i don't know like the more i ate the more i wanted to eat which i don't normally feel like all my normal macros i'm just like i'm not super hungry like i haven't even had my first meal yet and it's like nine and i'm not gonna eat till like 10. um but the refeed did me good um i started training like hard again and I did legs and upper body, got really good solid pumps, good solid workouts in. So it's like the first refeed, I was like, okay, I needed that and it felt good. So that's just kind of like the end of this vlog. I'm gonna post the full day of eating to my Instagram so you guys can see what the refeed looks like for me. So yeah guys, just drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more weekly vlogs. Um, we are seven weeks out. I feel like I'm looking at my face on my phone and it looks a lot like more diet face like so that's probably a good sign i'll update you guys when i check in with them on tuesday in my next vlog and yeah i'll see you guys then